Most of the ATP is produced within the mitochondria, which are comprised of an outer and inner membrane. The space between these two membranes is referred to as the intermediate space, while the space surrounded by the inner membrane is known as the matrix. Also, the inner membrane possesses numerous infoldings called Christi, which contain enzymes involved in the production of ATP. Now, ATP is generated within the matrix by an enzyme called ATP synthase or just ATPase. ATP synthase is powered by the movement of hydrogen ions from the intermediate space into the matrix. This concentration gradient is established by four enzymes located in the inner membrane. They're called complex 1, coenzyme Q, complex 3, and complex 4. These enzymes, in turn, derive their energy to transport hydrogen ions from the transfer of electrons, which come from NADH and succinate, both of which are synthesized within the matrix by the citric acid cycle. We'll talk more about that in another lesson. For now, we'll focus on NADH. The transfer of electrons from NADH begins as it binds complex 1, which causes NADH to give up two electrons and one hydrogen ion. The electrons then pass through complex 1, which drives the transport of four hydrogen ions from the matrix into the intermediate space. The two electrons are then transferred to two coenzyme Q molecules, along with two hydrogen ions from the matrix. The two electrons are then transferred to complex 3, which powers the transport of those two hydrogen ions into the intermediate space. After this occurs, the two electrons are then transferred to complex 4, which drives the transport of four hydrogen ions into the intermediate space, after which the two electrons are transferred to two oxygen molecules, which combine with four hydrogen ions to form two water molecules thus completing the transfer of electrons from one NADH to two oxygen molecules, which promoted the net transport of 10 hydrogen ions into the intermediate space. These 10 hydrogen ions, in turn, drive the formation of two and a half ATP molecules. Three hydrogen ions power the ATP synthase to produce one ATP, while one hydrogen ion is required to facilitate the transport of a free phosphate from the intermediate space into the matrix. Let's take a closer look at how hydrogen ions power the ATP synthase to produce ATP from ADP and a free phosphate. Now the ATP synthase is a large multi-subunit protein often compared to a hand holding a lollipop. Now the hand portion is known as the F0 part, while the F1 part is referred to as the lollipop. The F0 part is located within the inner membrane and serves as a rotor-like motor and channel for the transport of hydrogen ions from the intermediate space into the matrix. It is comprised of 10 C subunits that make up this rotor-like motor, one A subunit, which serves as the hydrogen ion channel, and one B subunit, which extends from the inner membrane into the matrix to stabilize the catalytic subunits of the F1 part through its contact with the delta subunit. The F1 part, or lollipop, is located in the matrix and serves as the axle and catalytic parts of the ATP synthase. The axle is often referred to as the stick, while the catalytic subunits are often referred to as the candy portion of the lollipop. The axle is comprised of one gamma and one epsilon subunit, which are connected to the C subunits or rotor-like motor and extend up into the catalytic part which is comprised of three alpha and three beta subunits. The delta subunit has no catalytic activity. So as we mentioned earlier, three hydrogen ions are required for the synthesis of one ATP, which starts when one hydrogen ion binds the C subunits, which causes the rotor-like motor to rotate 120 degrees. That hydrogen ion then exits the intermediate space through the A subunit, which acts like an ion channel. The rotation of the rotor-like motor causes the axle to rotate 120 degrees also, which causes one of the beta subunits to loosely bind an ADP and free phosphate. 
The next hydrogen ion then causes the rotor-like motor and axle to rotate another 120 degrees, which promotes the tight binding of ADP and free phosphate. The third and last hydrogen ion then causes the rotor-like motor and axle to rotate another 120 degrees, which promotes the formation and release of ATP, after which a new ADP and free phosphate loosely bind to that unoccupied beta subunit. This process continues to produce one ATP for every three hydrogen ions transported from the intermediate space into the matrix. Also, the synthesis of ATP occurs on each of the three beta subunits.